So the rental car here was 147 bucks per day, including all taxes, insurance, everything. I am now heading over to the store, which is literally what it's called, to uh, get something for dinner. And also it is in the direction of that uh, cliff that I saw by the ocean. And so want to uh, investigate door open. That is good. This is a really, really ultimate island. Look at the kind of perfection of the uh, palm trees against the blue sky. We're looking out with better weather than I had on Kauai. The peaceful vibe is really like nowhere else. So you can see store open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, I guess this is it. Oh, it is not looking very open. Oh, maybe there's another door. Okay. Can of chili, can of chili, can of chili. Yeah. Chili. Yeah, like And some cheese would be good to go with that. So four dollars for a can of chili, fair deal there, and then two little cheeses for a dollar each. So six bucks here for dinner. Some of the other prices were seriously insane. A bag of plain old tortilla chips for ten dollars. A hunk of cheddar cheese for sixteen bucks. As to be expected, gas is six dollars a gallon here. So it is a different side of Hawaii in many ways, but not in terms of prices. And now let's head over to the uh, beach, check out the uh, cliff, beach access. And also, I talked with the lady at the uh, cash register there, and she said there is a baby monk seal on the beach over here, some sticks around it showing to not get too close, but uh, we can take a look. So let's see if we can see it. One of the uh, native animals of Hawaii. Look at those waves. Looks kind of like a surfer's dream. I wonder if it's gonna be windy like this tomorrow for uh, flying in that little plane back to Honolulu. Yesterday was a little bit bumpy Today definitely seems windier. Okay, sticks in the sand. That must be the monk seal. And on the subject of sandals, here are the other ones. Totally different situation hiking with these. They stick to your feet. They have good solid tread. No ankle support, and so that is the uh, drawback compared to other uh, shoes, but uh, they work quite well. Been using them for decades. Looks like somebody might have drowned there, maybe surfing. And is there a seal? Hi there.
not too much to see really, but uh, good to know that there is in fact wildlife in Hawaii. Not a lot of it, especially as far as larger animals, mammals, but uh, you got the seals, you have goats, pigs, chickens, stray cats, dogs. That's pretty much it. And then of course, birds and insects. No snakes. One of the nice things about Hawaii, there is really not much to worry about as far as animal life, other than, of course, sharks. Pretty amazing view there. That is the hill that I was on before. And here is the massive cliff. And then this is a really ultimate beach here. Look at that water. Such a pretty color of blue. And then, it's a walk along the rocks. Very volcanic looking. Of course, the Hawaiian Islands are a volcanic archipelago island chain. And another really nice beach. That is quite a cliff. Is that a rock climber's dream or nightmare? Because it has lots of handholds, but uh, if it isn't very sturdy and it crumbles easily or whatever, then it could be very treacherous. I don't know. I'm not a rock climber. I have climbed rocks, okay. Big crab there, big black crab. So, when I was 17, I did a three-week outward bound, it was called, the uh, company that uh, organizes outdoor backpacking trips. Three weeks in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California near Yosemite, and it included three rock climbs. Now that was 30 five years ago. So I don't consider myself a rock climber, but I have done it. It was a really amazing experience. Not only the rock climbing, but uh, the whole trip. 22 days in the backcountry, most of which was off trail. We started off on trails, of course, and then left them behind on like the second day or something. and. Most of the trip was deep in the Sierra Nevada mountains with a group of, I forget, 15 people, something like that, and two instructors. They had done this route many times before and uh, knew what they were doing. There were supply drops twice, so basically we started the backpacking with one week of supplies, food, etc. And then met up with some people who had brought in more supplies by a pack horse twice along the trip. And so we hiked, you know, through the uh, mountains and then 
went to these specific spots for uh, rock climbing. I had done uh, backpacking trips lots of times before that with my family as a kid. As some of you might know, my video about getting lost in the Marble Mountains of uh, Northern California where my truck broke down and that whole story, then uh, that was an area that we would go as a family, my mom and dad and younger brother, in the summers. So my adventuring started very young. All right, I am not going to bother trying to get any closer and uh, try to navigate this rock field. Let's turn around, go back, I think I'm going to take a quick swim on that beach there and then get back to the car and drive to the Molokai Ranch, which is the one that apparently was a very popular resort until it closed down a couple decades ago and then that uh, resulted in less uh, tourists coming to Molokai. But the resort is still there, abandoned. I was talking with a lady on the flight about it and she made it sound very interesting, really spooky, creepy, classic, abandoned uh, place being overgrown by the uh, jungle or whatever. But when I looked on Google, then it showed it as being closed until Saturday. Today is Tuesday. So I don't know what the deal is, whether Google is wrong or whether it needs to be open in order to get inside and see something of it, it's only a few miles away. So I'll head over there and check it out. Heading now to the Malakai Ranch. Just wanted to give a taste of the landscapes. Much of the island is like this. Rolling hills, lots of green. Not many cars on the roads. Just a few. I already showed the uh, main town in a video that I filmed yesterday. It is quite small. And then there are other smaller, barely even towns, just kind of neighborhoods scattered around. Very curious to see what this ranch is going to be like and if I can actually get inside it because it sounded really, really interesting from what the lady was describing yesterday on the airplane. Okay, we're almost there. It's right on this road which I drove down yesterday and didn't notice anything, so, uh, hmm. Just up ahead. You will arrive at your destination. I guess this is it on the left, so maybe we're basically going past it already. But not seeing any buildings. Hmm. Okay, this making sense because it's about to say you have arrived you have arrived and there's no no there's a driveway there oops so I found something else on Google that says the Molokai ranch office so maybe that is the place it is a few miles away The point is to see some abandoned buildings, not just fields. So it's just up ahead. We'll see what happens. Another one of the sort of towns. That was a post office there, a store, kite factory. The village grill, very closed looking. Huh. 
Turn. This does not make sense. Once again, it's telling me to go down that way. Let me maybe ask this guy. Excuse me. I'm looking for the abandoned Molokai Ranch. Do you know about that? Back down this way. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, he said right down the road that way. So it's trying to tell me to go right here. I know Google Maps is sometimes not exactly correct, but that is really, really wrong. So... In 800 feet, turn right onto North Wiley Street. Google Maps is not uh, going to help at this point. I think I'll stop into this uh, store, get some better directions. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is, I guess we're there, and maybe this is part of it, Mauna Loa Town Cinemas. Very abandoned, deserted looking. The bad news is, according to her, then this is basically it. I was imagining something more dramatic. Okay, that looks better, better as in worse looking, but uh, she wasn't really saying like, yeah, go here or there and you'll find something especially, you know, creepy ghost town like, but uh, we do have a uh, abandoned looking like factory. So this is obviously what was being referred to, at least part of it. But uh, can you get inside and see anything? So what is this? Picture of a cow there. Well, here we go. Confirmation, Malakai Ranch, no smoking. This looks kind of like it might actually be still functional. Oh, yeah. There's a computer there with a light on, so this is not abandoned. Hmm. truck there. I'm not going to uh, go in there. So there you go. It is what it is. Let's drive around a little bit more, see if there's anything else intriguing. So this obviously is rather neglected so it appears so i guess the uh you know office is open but uh, this is probably you know in operation whatever it was for previously and now yeah i can see like old pieces of machinery in there or something So here we go, not especially fascinating, but this is more along the lines of an abandoned resort. Probably these were cabins where people stayed. Yes, okay.
Not the most fascinating ruins I've ever seen, but uh, still part of the history of the island. Anera. Now in the past, even if only 15 or 20 years or whatever. So, living room, kitchen, multiple bedrooms. All right. Some proper ghost town exploring here. Bathroom. Right on, right on, right on. All right, all right, all right. At least found what I was looking for, more or less. Interesting, uh, oh, it's a collapsed porch. It was like, ramp into the front door. Looks like it was a fairly nice spot to stay for a week back in the day. Looks like some storms have hit here. And lots of wind and rain. All right, you get the idea. Proper ghost town ruins. That's it for now, aloha.